Vicki Peterson. Today's question comes from a gentleman who has been off gluten for several years. He's developed a rash on his ankle, and he wants to know if he's suddenly developing dermatitis herpetiformis, affectionately known as DH because it's such a long two words. Uh, DH is a skin condition that is solely associated with gluten consumption when a person is intolerant to it. You get uh, itchiness, burning, lumps, blisters. It's a very dramatic skin condition. Sometimes the itching and burning appears long before the rash or bumps develop. But this is something that as soon as an individual gets off the gluten, the condition does remedy itself. So it's unlikely that this individual who is truly maintaining a gluten-free diet has developed DH uh, when he is maintaining his gluten-free status. However, the reason I decided to talk about this is that skin conditions secondary to gluten sensitivity is very common. And when you have a skin condition that despite being off gluten persists, it means that you haven't gotten the small intestine of your body completely healed. Your skin is your largest organ and it reflects the integrity of your intestinal tract. So if you continue to have rashes, eczema, psoriasis, acne, or just very dry skin. This is a harbinger of ill health of your small intestine, and it means we need to take the next step. So what do we want to look at? As you know, gluten causes a lot of damage to the small intestine. Secondary to that damage, it affects the immune system of your small intestine. 70% of your body's entire immune system is in your intestinal tract. So what gluten does, it really damages the majority of your immune system, which is in the intestine, and that can really wreak havoc in many areas of the body, not to mention the skin. So what we want to do is find out if you've been off gluten and that immune system has not regained its former strength, why might that be? The most common reason is secondary infections. Things like parasites, amoeba, bacteria, yeast, these organisms can get a foothold when you were gluten sensitive and just because you got off gluten that wasn't adequate to get them out of that small intestine successfully. So what we need to do is do a lab test, identify them, and then treat them and make sure that they have been eradicated. We use this in the clinic with a stool test and then we retest of course to make sure that the program we put the person on um, has remedied the situation and the parasitic organism, amoeba, bacteria, what have you, has been successfully eliminated and then you'll start to get healing because these hostile organisms are no longer present and the, heat, the skin will then heal of itself after that because there's not that irritation present in the small intestine. For some, it's very important, well for everyone, it's very important that after you take any sort of antibiotic that you then take a lot of probiotics. So what probiotics will do is re-inoculate your colon with the very healthy good bacteria that should be there because when you take an antibiotic you're wiping out good guys and bad guys all together and so you want to get those good guys back in. But people who are gluten sensitive have had a lifetime of their immune system getting kind of beaten down due to the presence of that gluten. So we're finding, having done this for quite a while now, that many gluten sensitive patients really need probiotics the rest of their lives to really keep that immune system strong in the small intestine. Easy to do, simple capsule, you take it once or twice a day and it can make a huge difference. So if you're having skin conditions and, you're st and you've been off gluten for a while, it's definitely important to look for secondary infections. So I hope this helps and until next time, I wish you very good health.